Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Neil. Today we are doing Tech Solids podcast number two, and with hey. me today we have Andrew and Preston. Go and said, say hello. Hey, hey, <laughs> how's it going, guys? It's been a long week with it Google is. I.O. Yeah, Ugh. Google I.O. Is is been, I, I need to still catch up on that. I haven't really watched much of it. All you ever need on Tech Solid. <laughs> but um, all right. So first topic today. Let's just jump on right into it, or right on into it, rather. Jump um, on it. Jump on it. Damn it, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Apple uh, TV anyway, yeah, streaming Apple TV service. Streaming service. What, um, what's going on with this, Preston? So, apparently, Apple has their own TV service, and this goes along with the cord cutting. I, I saw and... this at Best Buy today. I literally, I'm pretty sure I saw Apple TV. Is that, yeah. If that, did I see something else or is it actually this no no basically like apple tv is like the actual device but then apple's also working on like an actual television service to Ooh. go in addition to apple it said it's going to be streamed through the internet so it goes along with the cord cutting and stuff so um basically uh, i don't know if it's inside this article but there was um so an executive at, C- at cbs basically confirmed that it's coming it's just a matter of money at this point apparently they're in a in a money battle but essentially well, um after, you subscribe and you get television after stuff september like that. that won't be a big uh no next month wwdc is next month no oh true so investments go up is that our um stock goes up rather probably too Mm-hmm. So, so um, June eighth, I believe, is WWDC twenty fourteen, oh, so and like it's a week or two. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like not it's not far off. June eighth, yeah. So, and uh, the the whole tagline is the epic center of change. So, uh. um, basically, apparently, this project dates back as far as two thousand nine with Apple. And um, apparently you'll be able to subscribe to a service and you'll get a bundle of popular TV channels because the problem with cable is whenever you have a cable subscription, you it has all these channels that inflate the cost of it. So yeah. with cord cutting and stuff like that, it's it's going to go in addition. But with the basic general Apple TV, you still get like the Netflix and the Hulu, but you still don't have to subscribe to, to those services. So I like Ooh. that. So, I feel like this is going to be something cool, uh, just because like is it going to compete with Netflix or Amazon Prime? Mm-hmm. Is it going to be like instantly up there with them, I, or it, are they going to work their way up? I think it's I think it's targeted towards cable at this point. Yeah, because okay. like cable is just ridiculous, and along with the whole cord cutting trend. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me that in addition with the Apple TV service, you'll also be able to get this content on like your iPads and stuff like that. Uh-huh, so. Yeah, definitely. So, so I'm looking forward cool. to it. Like I have no use for it because like I got the cable here at home and the cable back on campus. Yeah, exactly. So Your cable on campus? Yeah. Huh. We get yeah, we that in addition to a gigabit connection. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I got like six well, not exactly a gigabit, but I think at one point in time I got six hundred downloads, six hundred upload, even. Oh. Even budge. It was wonderful. Jeez, I'm I mean, incredibly jealous right now. I mean, right now I get a hundred down, fifty up, so I'm not, I'm not complaining. I mean, you you got to supply for seventeen thousand students, so yeah, exactly. But yeah, mm-hmm. this is what Apple's up to, and I like it. I think it's gonna be wonderful. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. So right now, right now, if you buy an Apple TV, you have access is... to everything. You but you still gotta subscribe to the individual services like oh, yeah. YouTube and Netflix. It's yeah, basically yeah, Apple yeah, TV, course. like. Yeah, it's a media it's, server. Thing. Yeah, it's like a. It's just like makes your TV smart. Exactly. Like, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot more cheaper options out there too. There's Chromecast. I have a Chromecast. Even cheaper. Uh, Roku is another one. Yeah, Roku. Yeah. And the Amazon Fire Stick as well. But the I think we Apple actually TV. have the Fire Stick. We got it for like fifteen dollars, like way before mm. it came out. It's cheap because we had Amazon Prime. So. Yep. Exactly. Um, Apple TV used to be a hundred dollars, but at the um, at the Apple, not the Apple Watch. Yeah, the it was the Apple Watch keynote. I call it the Apple Watch keynote because that was the most prominent thing. <laughs> but um, it got reduced from a hundred dollars to sixty nine dollars. So the okay. price is right, like sixty nine dollars. Like you can't beat it. 
Like, and see, here's the thing though: you could also subscribe to the television service, but a lot of applications like CBS and stuff like that, and ABC, they offer free applications that if you simply watch four ads every like ten minutes of your show, you can get that content for free. Yeah, I guess, but I mean, that's why so I it's like watching a normal watch, TV show. Yeah, yeah it's like basically commercial cable. Such, yeah. But I, I'd so, much yeah. rather watch Netflix, honestly. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> it's it's designed. This specifically is designed to target cable specifically. So oh, definitely, yeah. I, I, I understand. I, have I, a I just up. I know I keep on bringing up Netflix, but that's just like my passion is Netflix. Yeah, we'll find out more next month, hopefully. Yep, hopefully. All right. So what's next. Next is something that I've been actually reading up on. Not a whole lot, but um, there was a couple things on Mac rumors where Apple had mysterious vans that were driving randomly throughout the United States. And uh, people were, like, guessed if, like, it was a part of, like, their smart car initiative and stuff like that. And um, apparently the cameras on the top of the vans are simply used to make 3D maps. The wow. drivers, the drivers did, could not say anything. Go figure, but um, <laughs> what they do? Corner them? <laughs> I, don't know, well, I, mean, I guess they just walked up to him and be like, "Hey, like, what are you doing?" And they're like, "We can't say anything. Uh, nothing. No, nothing. I'm not doing anything." <laughs> so yeah, exactly. Why is there a giant thing on top of your car? Oh, I didn't notice that there. <laughs> they're very it's a boat. sci-fi looking. It's it a almost boat. looks like an armored car. Yeah, it know. looks really cool. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know about but, armored car, but yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. It looks oh, yeah. sci-fi ish. It looks <laughs> yeah, it looks, looks like they're trying to catch like a UFO. So it's reportedly supposed to bring th- three things to the plate: high quality mapping data, photos of storefronts, and three D imagery. So it looks like it's gonna try to target like you know how like in Google you like type in a business or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that you can just go down to Street View. Exactly. It also has okay. pictures, like street pictures yeah. of the business. I thought we already basically had like three D space on Google Earth. We do, but Apple has their own. Yeah. Wait. And I guess they're trying. Oh, to... this is Apple. Not even. I, I thought this was yeah, this Google. Is... I'm like, wait. No, wait. this is Apple. Okay. Neil. <laughs> Took me a minute there. I'm yep, sorry. I'm Apple. sorry, guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it looks like it's just basically picking up a whole mm-hmm. bunch of other information around the street and stuff like that. So mysterious vans. I think they've been on the road for a month. I think they launched in May. Yeah. That's cool, though. I, I guess that makes sense since Apple is like the biggest phone company basically now, so they can have their own app. For yeah. Their- and now the world's most valuable company because they passed up Google the other day. Really? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I didn't see that. Uh, what? Yeah, they passed Google up Google. Is like Google. <laughs> they're basically the internet. Like they own so many like huge companies. And they buy a lot of companies. A yeah. lot. I mean, I figured Google as itself and then YouTube would just smash any other company like them you together but I guess I'm wrong you would imagine but yeah <laughs> so hopefully again WWDC hopefully yeah. we'll, all these rumors I mean I just can't believe I thought that's Google alright <laughs> so now switching up Windows 10 Windows 10 I'm really excited for this I, like, I I'll am I'll probably well. buy it Honestly, I, I, I will. Save up. <laughs> I will buy it. Um, I thought it was coming out for a free update. I it only is. have Windows Seven. Um, yeah. No, is you also get the update for Windows Seven, I believe. Really? We'll have to I look into it. So yeah. We, see, I have the CD, but I don't have any kind of verification code, so I can't verify it. So I'm kind of. Oh, so you got the little annoying watermark down there inside the bottom. No, it hasn't it, been thirty not days genuine. yet. Oh. So I still have a nice background. As the people watching this podcast can now see, I'll fix that though. There we go. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> apparently, Microsoft is planning to launch Windows 10 this summer, July June, specifically. July. That's that's crazy. So less than two months from out. now, it'll be launched. But uh, the AMD CEO Lisa Su said that we revealed inside an earnings call that Windows 10 July launch plans are in the works. So we've also see where they've talked about releasing these in phases and absolutely having it available to the masses by the end of summer. I mean, I'm just looking in in the um, video, like thumbnail kind of deal. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it looks clean. 
it does. It's what Windows 8 did wrong. They they fixed it. Yeah. I like Cortana built into it. Yeah, I like that. And then Internet Explorer's new browser as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, What's the um, name of it? Edge? I forget. It's Titan? Edge. Edge? Edge? Yeah, Edge. Yeah, because they're just trying to get rid of the whole branding of Internet Explorer and the name it has. Because Internet Explorer built up such a horrible name. Hopefully, yeah, I, it, I really yeah. do hope Edge can compete with Chrome. To be fair, Internet Explorer, the recent additions were actually decent. I, you know, I heard it's um, just the name the is just so bad. About that. Yeah. So, um, I heard about that. You know who it is? There was a big argument about Chrome versus Internet Explorer. Yeah. I think I missed it. <laughs> it's not that horrible that you missed it. But anyways, yeah, it was it was just like Internet Explorer. No. Chrome. No, yeah, I'm not, Explorer. I'm not going to lie. This is my honest opinion. The most recent build of Internet Explorer I actually kind of enjoyed. See, I I just, I don't know. But I'm a Chrome, Chrome. it's I'm just the Chrome functionality junkie. of Chrome. It's the functionality of Chrome that gets you. And it's that's true. why I love it. It's true. I mean, Chrome is very, like, intensive on your computer. Not going to lie. Yes. But that's what I have a good computer for. So I can run Chrome, right? I find Chrome running on a lot of the devices as well. Like it's yeah. it, it. I mean, it depends because if you have like a whole bunch of extensions, then yeah, it's gonna bog down. See, I only have one, I think, right now. Yeah, the only main extension I use is just AdBlock. Oh my gosh, oh, you use AdBlock? <laughs> no one likes you. <laughs> Why? Cause you ruin monetization. It's not my fault, man. <laughs> Ads get in the way of my life. Oh my God. I've been using YouTube for like four years now, and I've never blocked an ad. Here really? you are. Here you are dependent on ads, and here you are having ad block. <laughs> when, I, when I go on my partner's channels, I turn off ad block. Uh, they, yeah, they don't. <laughs> great. <laughs> no, he gets money for that though. Yeah, it's true. That's how it works. It's yeah. a circle of monetization. Anyways, oh, yeah. back to uh, Windows, Windows 10. 10. You know, actually, I think there's a video, like a very old video. I mean, Windows I can 10. play this video real quick if you guys want to mute your mics. So we'll I'll mute your mics. Sure. If we want to. Okay. Hey guys, this is Tom Warren with The Verge, and we're getting a quick look here at Windows 10, like the most recent uh, build that Microsoft's going to throw out in a couple of weeks. Um, so obviously we saw the start menu uh, back in September, and there's a few additions and changes here. Um, you've got like a expand start menu mode, which will literally bring it sort of full screen, and you can pop that back. Um, kind of helpful on a device that's got a mouse and keyboard. Um, and again, you've got all the normal controls that you get in Windows apps. Full, full screen will go to that sort of size, what you'd expect. Um, but what Microsoft's really doing here is trying to blend. All right, guys, I know I paused it like 30 seconds in, but you can watch the rest on your own. This link will be down below, of course. Guys, go ahead and unmute your mics if you could. Why, hello there. Yeah, they get a little awkward, I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> I just kind of got a little glimpse of what they're doing. I really do like how we have the start menu back. Yeah. yeah, like the actual menu. There's an expand menu. The actual like, start menu. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, and it seems as though they're building a couple more like built-in applications on your computer mm -hmm. now, rather than just having like the stuff you hardly ever use, like Internet Explorer or Windows Media Player. Like it, it comes with like Inbox and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I find that pretty useful. That way, I don't have to. I open like up that. Yeah, a browser. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So moving on, this is something that I've actually don't read, like I haven't really read up about because again, it was happening like all the unboxings were happening during Google I/O, but Nvidia's 4K Android mm -hmm. TV game console is now available, and it's called Nvidia Shield, and it's not the old school Nvidia Shield. I don't know if you guys remember where it was like the, it was like a foldable, like a almost like a not like a DS, a very thick. It was DS. like um. Yeah, I, I don't know, know what the proper term can, for that kind of device control, is. You actually just uh, connect it to your computer, and you can play computer games on it, like on a hand, handheld device, and it has its own... Screen. No, it had the handheld thing built into it, like the original Shield, I believe. No, because oh. I've seen this before. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Any, anywho, it's available, the, the new one or whatever this is, 
it's available and you can order it from Amazon and Best Buy. And I think there's two models. Yeah, $199 gets you 16 gigabytes, while yeah. 299 Pro comes with 500 gigabytes and a copy of Borderlands the Priest sequel or however you pronounce so that. Are they actually like. I don't know what's this. I don't know what this marketed. I don't. I guess so because it has a controller with it, but I just don't know who is it, who it's marketed towards. Like, I don't think this would be something that you would want to buy if you were just going to use it for television. Yeah, I don't like, think so either. Wow, you can view YouTube and um, Netflix, Netflix and everything yeah, like 4K. In, for in four K. I wouldn't want to buy a one hundred and ninety nine dollar. Yeah. That wouldn't influence my decision so much so that I Plus, dish out like, that much. Is it 4K kind of intensive for okay. streaming? Yes, and I, I see your point because 4K is very intensive to stream, and not yeah. every single computer can handle it. So this is basic. So if your computer can't handle it, rather than going out and getting well, upgrades for your computer, to handle rather, it. Um, internet speed. That's, That's true. true, but again, it's not their responsibility, so they really shouldn't. I mean, they. I just, you, I, like you said, it's not going to be marketed very. Like, it doesn't have a huge like marketing. Like what? Is, I don't know who's. Who, I don't know who it's targeted for. Is yeah. it targeted towards gamers or targeted towards media consumers? I think it's. I think it's more towards. I don't know. I don't want to say more gamers. Towards gamers. gamers because definitely. so so you can play what a PC game on this. Yeah, it comes with actual like games. You, it includes a game controller, and it can expand the storage via micro SD or USB 3.0. Hmm. You can buy a slimmer remote for four, for fifty bucks, and you can buy buy a okay, shield just, vertically for twenty nine ninety nine. I'm game guessing you just like um, throw on a, a um, HDMI cord to your computer screen, and like hook it up like that and play. It has a screen on it. Are we looking at the same picture? Wait, what? It has a screen. Wait. So it's like a laptop. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what what link Hold are on. you on, buddy? Okay, no, I was on the I no. was on the okay, I was on the wrong link. Okay. Thank you. I take that back. I was on the wrong link. That is my fault. <laughs> I, w- I was looking at, at some device that had a screen on it, and I thought it was an video. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I see it. Okay. This does not Only have a screen on table. it. <laughs> <laughs> this does not have a screen. Can confirm. It Thank is a you. device. There we go. Okay, I was looking <laughs> through. I was. I see. I was extremely confused because I was like, "This doesn't look like what I looked like what I looked at earlier." I was gonna <laughs> say, buddy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it, it appears to be that you um, you do have to plug it in somehow. Continue talking while I look this up. Okay, it comes with the HD. It comes with a high speed HDMI cable. Okay. That's good. So, you, so go. you just plug it into a monitor or a TV, even. Mm-hmm. And it comes with three months of unlimited Google Play Music, a thirty dollars Google Play gift card. Ow. Okay, hey, who buddy. plays music through and a console? I don't know, because I apparently you can play <laughs> games and play music at the same time, and now you can okay. do that with PlayStation. You now can with Spotify. do that on that's... Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. That's like they had it old school. Yeah. But... Exactly. That's not kind of that's big of a deal, but still. Yeah. So essentially it all comes with the exact same stuff. Comes with USB 3.0 points, micro XD expansion, uh, voice search, high speed HDMI cable, which is really nice that they included that because those HDMI cables can get really pricey. Oh yeah. True. Um, 4K support, shield controller, the gift cards and the games and whatever. The only difference is um a hundred dollars between sixteen gigabytes and five hundred. One hundred ninety nine dollars is the shield, and then the shield pro is t- uh, two hundred ninety nine. Mm-hmm. So essentially, the one hundred dollars justifies the storage increase. Don't I'm assuming that's flash storage as well. I don't know. Like I mean, a lot of I've seen some unboxings of this, and the presentation is actually really well. But I think I think this is marketed towards obviously I th- I, this is marketed towards gamers. Now that yeah. I'm, now, now that it, I it see that it does be, not it have a screen and toward gamers. <laughs> see the the reason why I was like I don't know what it's marketed toward because like I didn't see that I thought I had a screen on it because I was like well if it has a screen on it then obviously you know you can just hold it and stuff like that. But now that I see that it does not have a screen, I mean because I guess if you That's gain cool you idea, have a lot though. of I, I mean. 
like no what you just said if it had a screen on it that'd be a cool idea yeah, that'd be pretty cool <laughs> that's why i was very excited i was like, like yeah. just plug her in and you're on the like a road trip or something yeah technically it's called android tv but i can see a lot of gamers using this as well well yeah it's a game well, I, console I, yeah i i don't see an average user buying this just to watch netflix it's not like an Apple play or Apple yeah. or anything like that. It's a little bit more. So yeah, it comes with three gigs of RAM too. That's or right. no, it comes with the. Um, it's powered by Nvidia's Tegra X1 Mobile Super Chip at three gig- 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 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> and I'm all out of whack ever since I like thought I had a screen on it. I'm like my mind's blown right now. <laughs> <laughs> i apologize i was I don't know, really I, confused like wait what is he talking about i don't see no screen it's a cool product <laughs> and it's a cool product and the price is right 199 dollars that's actually really good. not bad yeah that's not bad but i wouldn't drop 200 bucks i personally wouldn't console. drop yeah i don't have the money to do that so if if i didn't already have a ps4 and like a really good computer and stuff like that i would consider this i mean even yeah. having like a game pc like i have I wouldn't buy this because I, I can play anything really. Exactly. That's Halo. That's what I have my Xbox One for. <laughs> okay, mine. I mean, I have a headache after that last one. I was so confused. <laughs> we have one uh, more. One more. One more, and I, th- I have the right article this time. You sure? Positive. All right, let's go ahead and All move right. on. It has to do with rashes, right? <laughs> um, slightly off. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Uh, rashes. I so oh, yeah. There. There's... There has been a string text that's been crashing iPhones everywhere. Yeah. And it's like effective power than a whole bunch of characters. And essentially, yeah. no matter if you're on your device or if your phone's in rest mode or whatever, if you get this text message, your phone resets. It consists of what? Uh, Arabic Actually, letters? Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, I have it up on Arabic. screen right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, and actually, it's only iOS 8. I sent this to myself, and it did not work because I have iOS 7. A friend of mine sent it via uh, SMS, not iMessage, and it didn't work. Yeah, it has to be iMessage as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is a way to, like, troll people, I guess. Some Reddit user actually found it. I, I'm really curious if, like, how he found it. I don't know. Like, would it be something like an Apple employee said something about it? Mm, possibly or just for some reason he was sending a text message to someone but well, who, uh, who would send that random yeah text? i don't know but uh pretty interesting discovery though and apparently apple said that there's a fix but there's a temporary workaround and apparently if um you get this text message you're unable to open your messages app because your messages app is complete is fried so basically, you use Siri to read unread messages, and then use Siri to reply to the malicious me- the malicious message. And then after sending the reply, you should be able to tap on messages again. And, but if con- and, but if it continues, Apple says to tap and hold the malicious message, tap more, and then delete the message mm-hmm. from the thread. So there's no way that you can stop people from sending you this. No. Okay. Unfortunately, so if but, if my mom's on a on the phone when I don't want her to be, I'll just send it to her. Just back on. And it just it, it, no questions asked. You don't even have to like look at the text message. If your phone receives it, it's uh, gone. Yep. Like you're yeah. you're out. I tested it on my parents the other day. Definitely works. Like I don't know. I interesting, but again, like they want to roll out like an entire like ios update just to fix this i mean it'll be ios 9 this summer or something else probably with wwdc yeah they might release a like i don't know i guess i i mean i really don't follow wdcc or is ddc wwdc wwdc okay there we go um i don't normally follow that i don't normally follow apple news too much um, I see the big stuff, of course, but I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know what would happen at WWDC. But yeah. So interesting stuff, but hopefully we'll see a fix for this soon. And I can like, I'm I'm burned out. Google I/O exhausted me. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite an intensive week. I think Google Cardboard, which I guess we'll do a video over this week, hopefully. Right, that's the plan. Where do we Hopefully, do I, I, I plan on buying one. You plan on buying one? I, it's only I don't like know. fifteen bucks. I know, but I don't. <laughs> I don't want to 
pay fifteen dollars for cardboard. I feel like they're doing it just to see if someone will actually buy cardboard. A, a million people <laughs> have bought it so far. So, jeez, because well, this is before, it's, and that was a million people that only had like Android devices because it just now came out for iOS this week. Yeah, but Google I/O was exhausting. That's over with. Aura was by far my favorite part. Well, yeah. oh, modular phone. Google Photos saves us a whole bunch of time on the um, photo Wait, backup. Google Aura, is that the modular phone or what mm-hmm. is? That's the modular phone. Where you can like, where, it... yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's like a video. I think it's at a thousand views right now. Yeah, you can just like take stuff out and put it back in. Yep, completely. You don't even have to turn screens, off the phone. Screens, everything. Yeah. Not, I don't know about screens. Yeah, but you can I've do, seen like, the video. And then what else is coming up? Uh, WWDC next month. Mm-hmm. Um, that should be a good. We got the OnePlus coming up. OnePlus yeah. Two is coming out, right? Well, we don't know what it is, but they have an event coming up. Yeah, they, yeah I'm okay. sure they're going to say something about that. That'll be a good podcast to have everything in there. Maybe we'll just leave a I... podcast for the bigger stuff like OnePlus and WWDC, that kind of stuff. The big things will have individual videos, and then we'll pick up everything else in the podcast. Well, I figured, yeah. I mean, if we have, like, a big enough video. That is true. Because I know Google Cardboard and Google um, Android, some, I don't know, it was a video that went up earlier this week. It was, like, two in one. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that was exciting. And I'm exhausted, and I'm glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long week. Yeah. Well, I think that about wraps it up yeah i believe so you guys have anything else to add whether it's tech stuff at all shia labeouf has completely lost it yep (laughs) i don't know what you're talking about (laughs) (laughs) i love his his motivational video it's amazing i'll leave a link my, my life was going downhill until i saw that video like that that video alone pushed a thousand video a thousand views to the channel Wait, I, I do want to add one more thing. Apparently, this can be sent over Twitter. The What? The, yeah. I, I just noticed this. Let me read it. The booby trap message can be sent over Twitter as highlighted to The Guardian by the security researcher, researcher uh, Miko H. Oh, that's so troll. Either using direct message or public mentions. If the recipient uses an iPhone and has notifications turned on... A message will instantly crash their smartphone. Oh man, that's troll. That's funny. So any any sort of notification with that. Yeah. I see. I didn't know it was over Twitter. I thought it was only other over iMessage. What about on um, like Facebook Messenger? Probably not. I think it was. I th- I'm sure they tried it once they found out that it works with Twitter. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm sure Twitter will get a fix out quicker. Well, I don't even know. Can Twitter do anything? Like, if it contains, like, effective power, can it make it so it doesn't show up? Possibly. I mean, that'd be the the smartest way to do it, I guess. That would be the smart thing to do. Well, anyways, I think that concludes today's episode Nerds of the, of the tech, tech table. table. Nerds of the tech table. Nerds of the tech table. I hope you Nerds guys of the tech table. A very on. exhausted one, too. Yes, it was. We're all tired. It's 10 p.m. at night for me, I know. Yeah, it's 11 p.m. for me. Yeah, 11 11 p.m. for them, too. Those two nerds. Ah, you know. Yeah. I think I'm going to go stream, so I'm going to go ahead and end the night. I hope everyone enjoyed that was watching. Uh, If you want us to talk about something specific or do a review on something, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. If there's anything you want to suggest, just leave it in the comments below. And as always, have a great day. Peace. Adios.